Hey everybody, it's Chris from Tipton and Hearst, and sorry we're so late, but we are so busy. So anyway, we're going to actually finish up a party that we're fixing to get ready to go set up, and this is one of the centerpieces that we're doing. Don't ask the price, don't ask who it's for, because I'm not going to tell you either one of them today. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and green the container out. Now this actually is a loamy dish with foam, mm. chicken wire of course, or chicken pol or poultry netting. <laughs> anyway that will go on top and this is just for stability as we do all these insertions and in foam sometimes the foam tends to fall apart this helps keep it all together a little bit so this is actually going to set on top of a gold or rhinestone stand we're going to make that decision when we get on location i'm a little leery of my rhinestone stands right now well so, i hate to tell you but it's going to be silver or rhinestone there is no gold okay well but it will be on something it will be on something stable Yes, so that's true. what we're going to do first is we're going to go back and use our variegated pit today or pit, por pit porum. I always say that wrong. So I like spaghetti or spaghetti. Yeah. Anyway, and we're going to go ahead and green in the base of this. And as we do this, we're going to actually angle this greenery in. Now, like on this piece here with these long runners coming off that, we're going to pop that off. And then we're going to cut this where it's more of a flat angle like that. And we're going to insert that in down like that. And the main reason why we do all this is actually is to cover up the mechanics of the foam as well. When people are sitting at the table and they look up, they won't see anything other than just pretty greenery. Hopefully. Now we're going to go back in the middle, the dead middle of this, and add a few pieces of the pit as well. So basically I've done around the edge, and then I've done dead in the middle. So now we'll go back and take a little bit of the eucalyptus. I'm going to do that. So how is everybody today in the happy family? Everybody's good today. We have friends from Maryland, Houston, Alabama, Arkansas, South Carolina, Virginia, North Carolina, the Mississippi coast, Nevada, oh. Oklahoma. Oh my goodness. Everyone ask how are you doing today? I'm doing well today. We've just been busy in a one-armed paper hanger, but wallpaper hanger, but we are getting through it, aren't we? We are. Um, we have friends from New Jersey, Georgia, Colorado, Pennsylvania. Miss Kim said they made it through the hurricane. Yeah, it looks like it got kind of really bad up north around in New York and New Jersey and kind of worried about everybody. Miss Peggy said that she just watched your May 11th video until you came on. Oh my goodness. So someone said they missed it. What is this for? This is for a party tonight. It's for a uh, dinner party, social distancing, but it's going to be elevated on top of one of our stands that we have. And that way, I'm actually going to try to scoot this over a little bit. I'm okay. going to work from this angle. Okay, cool. So where's Waldo? Yep. Anyway, so we're going to actually use five different colors of roses because we want this to be more like it's just a mixture of like a natural rose garden. So we're going to use these roses. I think they're shimmers. Christina thinks they're something else. We should have asked Frida, but anyway. They're pretty. That's they're what pretty. we know. And then we're going to do our freedoms. Then we have some turtles. A yellow rose called turtle. I think that this one is Pink Floyd. Sounds and, good. And yeah, sounds good today. Free spirit, I know what that is. And then we're going to finish it out with some green hydrangeas. So I'm actually going to do one color at a time and I'm going to disperse the color all the way around as I do it. So like on this one, this is broke. Not going to do any good. We're just going to recut that and we're going to use it for depth. And as I do this, I'm going to actually pull the guard petals off as I insert these. Miss Anastasia said, no matter how her day is going, you always make it bright. Oh, that's so sweet. I just thank everybody for watching. For sure. Lots of people said they love the roses. Oh, good. So on this design, with it being high, I'm not going to go totally up like I would sometimes. We're going to make it more like a mushroom shape. That way it's going to kind of cascade down this way. And, there, and then on the table setup, we'll have votive candles and things like that at the base, along with some other little clutches 
of the same flower. So someone said they're just tuning on. What is the different greenery that we have here? We have seeded eucalyptus. We have variegated pit or pisporum. And we also have a little bit at the end, we're gonna add a little bit of parvifolia. Miss Pamela said that free spirit is always her favorite. Oh. That's Mr. Chris's. Always my favorite. Because it holds so well, it opens so well, it has just a little fragrance to it. It's not overpowering, but you still get a beautiful fragrance from it. I actually went to a friend's house last night that we did the flowers for her sister's engagement party on Saturday, and it had they had opened up and they were just beautiful. Aren't they pretty? They were all saying, look at all these pictures we took of them. Oh, good. They were so pretty when they opened. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the red. We're going to break the red a little bit longer out because it's a deeper color, so at nighttime, if the lighting's not great, this darker color is gonna recede really bad. So we're gonna actually make sure that we have it extended out, because we're gonna keep the lighter colors in deeper. So someone said, how many of these are the part is going to be at the party? Mm, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. And someone said, how much will this cost? We won't answer that because it is for a private party, it's so. Private party and some people don't mind sharing the knowledge of their, or sharing what they do. Some people do. So yeah. we'll just let y'all see the pretty flowers <laughs> and that's all you does. know. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Mama said. Anyway, so. Everyone said they love the pink flowers too. So as we're doing this, now one thing I did notice that I messed up on today. A lot of times when you're doing party work, you don't, just for other people out there that do this. You don't want to buy a long stem rose when you could have easily gotten by with a 50 centimeter. We had, I guess we couldn't find 50s because I always, when I'm doing party work of this, I always get a shorter rose because I'm going to cut it off anyway. But on this one, I mean, to me, this kills me to waste this much stem. But today it is what it is. Someone asked, when are you having the live classes? We're working on it, I promise. We are, we are having a lot of issues trying to find a source to do the flowers for us that we could drop ship to y'all so y'all can play along with us. Now, that's not to say that we couldn't push ahead on do some of the silk classes for sure. Right, Christina? That's right. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> There's only so many hours in the day at this there point. There is. <laughs> As I said to Mr. Chris last night, I'm only one person. person. I'm only one person. So we have a few people saying she wasn't meaning how many people are attending. She was wondering how many arrangements. And we did understand that. We did understand it, but yeah. still we don't want to. Someone said, how about a silk class? Yeah, we are. You know, that's such a sad thing is that now you can't discuss things like that. Like we know, well, we wouldn't have been able to on that, on this situation anyway, because it is a private event. But, you know, there's a it lot of people out there looking for a fight somewhere. So we just don't want to. So we just had someone say they can't wait for the surprise on Friday. <laughs> Y'all, I feel really bad. <laughs> It's not the biggest surprise, so <laughs> that's why when you said I was like, huh? Yeah, it's not, y'all. I'm but, gonna, I'm just. But we're gonna make it be a big surprise. We are. We're though. gonna make it be something fun. She texted me last night, like at ten o'clock. Goes, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to be. I'm like, we'll figure it out. It ain't a big deal. So maybe we'll have some yeah. giveaways, or I don't know. No, we're just... something. We're gonna do something because you done put it out there. It's gonna be a big surprise for everybody. Uh, well, y'all know, y'all will know why I'm so excited. <laughs> So, Miss uh, Betsy said, did she miss the rhinestone stand, or is it coming up later? It's, it's already on it's location. It's already on location. It's already on location. We're literally, as soon as we finish this, running out the door with our driver setup team to go. That's why Mr. Chris is in black. That's why I'm in black today. Well, that and I had a couple other events going on today, we did. too. Today's been a pretty, today should be a Saturday. My mom is laughing because I was telling her last night how I felt so bad. <laughs> and of course, everyone thinks it's funny. <laughs> it's going to be a big surprise. Everyone's going to be, I'm like, well, I wouldn't be very excited about that. <laughs> Mr. Chris, be nice. You're supposed to be on my side. So, Miss Tracy said, do you ever wire the roses? No, ma'am. 
We really don't. We used to do that all the time, but we found that honestly by doing the wiring, it's actually putting more air into the head. So it kind of doesn't really help the rose by any means. If a rose is already that bad, it's not going to last any either. It's still going to continue to wilt. So. Miss Pam said that this is one of the prettiest arrangements yet. Oh, that's so nice. Miss Bonnie, and also we had someone else, I forgot the name. Miss yeah. Rose said that we're both so upbeat and happy. <laughs> we try. Well, I'm trying to be better than I was yesterday. When I got home, my wife was like, well, you're not very up on it yesterday. I'm like, what? I guess when I get so intense sometimes on, silk, on stuff that I'm having to think about what I'm doing, which that's kind of scary, then I maybe not be as talkative as I should be, but I try to do better. Better, better, better. So like this one, see how that's already broke? We're gonna just cut it from the top and just put it right in the base and that's gonna give you more depth anyway. I love all these different colors in here. Well, the tablecloths are just a plain ivory. So the flowers are definitely gonna be the color for everything. So we're hoping to add just a little splash of happiness here and there. So Miss Michelle said, she wishes that she lived closer because she would love to have a class with you. Well, we're going to try to do the class virtually so that people from anywhere could do the class with us. Yes. How far are we from Wynn, Arkansas? Two hours? Mm, about an hour and 45 minutes okay. because Wynn is a suburb of McCrory, actually. Oh, man. Not really. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You had me believing it. <laughs> no, Wynn is about 20, about 20 miles from McCrory, which McCrory is the center of the universe, basically. But anyway, um, that's where it's all from. So what is the name of that orange rose? This orange rose is Free Spirit. Did you count out how many of each color yes, rose? there was a menu. There's a dozen of every color. Dozen of every color. Yeah. So there's that. And then what is the name of the fat green leaf that you line the glass base with. Oh, not in this uh, arrangement. Maybe the tea, leaf? Uh, the tea leaf? Tea leaf, probably. We do a lot of tea leaves because they don't disintegrate and they hold really well in water. So they'll hold up as well in water just as long as um, the flowers will. So Clay didn't get to see the mechanics of this. Did you use a designer brick? I used two blocks of foam. We cut two thirds off to make a square on top of the nine inch block, on nine inch loamy dish. Then we went back and put a square of, oops, chicken wire on top and then did a cross, then did a grid of tape across that. So someone else asked how much is an arrangement like this? Since this is for a party, sorry, we can't tell you a price. Um, someone said this is their most favorite arrangement of the roses and it's very stunning oh good um what is the name of the pink rose again i think that do we think I it's pink floyd for, someone just said it, pink floyd I'm too pink so floyd, i think you're right i asked for pink floyd but i didn't really check the wrappers once the once the guys bring up the stuff from downstairs because when our stuff comes in we we have to allocate product on a flower sheet to frida once it comes up on the cart and it's all for this one party, I really don't pay attention as long as I kind of got what I need in color. I'm so not so married about, I'm not so married so much all the time to a certain oopsie. variety. What Greenery just came out the front, Oops, jumped okay, off. I'll fix it. Miss Yolanda said she's made several comments and I haven't mentioned any. I have not seen one comment from you, Miss Yolanda. I'm so sorry, because I love your picture of your hair. So, Miss Yolanda's watching. She's from California. Oh, cool. So, we have someone that said they don't always love mixing the roses, but the Not, rose colors, but they love this I, look. I, I agree with them. Um, not a big fan of mix, but you know what? Every time we do something like this, like a dozen roses, like on a holiday time, especially for Mother's Day and put it up front, it sells really fast. So, I guess it really doesn't matter what I like or what I don't That's like. That's true. <laughs> so, but because especially men like mixed colors. So with so, that being said, whatever customer wants, customer gets. That's On true. this one, we're having to do this because they wanted mixed, they wanted a lot of color. 
And so we thought we would just do like a rose garden basically of all different colors. So now I'm gonna go back and add a little bit more of this eucalyptus because it's kind of drippy and I love drippy. Uh, you know what, Miss Linda just came on. You know, she times everybody's, all of our yeah. videos and she just came on. I'm glad she's oh, here. We're not gonna know how long it took you, but that's well. okay. So we have a few people asking, what is the name of the orange rose again? Free Spirit. Free Spirit. Free Spirit. And we have tons of people just saying it's so festive, it's beautiful. Well, I'm adding now our power foliage just to get a little bit of whimsical greenery to it. I didn't so Miss Yolanda wants me to come more in the middle. She said she doesn't want to see the side of the arrangement. So let's try to come more to the middle and see. We're trying to see Mr. Chris design to the well, right, or that was our just, intention. Well, don't have to worry about that. So but anyway. Everyone said they just of the hot pink rose. Pink Floyd, we think. Okay. So the long and the short of all this is that we are almost done. And we are going to go set up a party. And we hope that you've enjoyed watching today. And we hope that you'll have a safe night. Anybody else in the weather? I know a lot of our people are out of, uh, don't have electricity, I don't believe. But hopefully you got your phone charged. So anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much for joining us on our happy. And y'all have a blessed night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.